Hell yeah, how we doing, Helium? What's up? Cool. I'm gonna tell you about me. I uh, recently had a one night stand uh, with a 60 year old lady. Let me tell you about that. Yeah, pretty cool. Wow, thank you. Oh, gosh. I uh, don't usually go for older women, nothing against them. It's just that I uh, am adopted and my mom is out there somewhere, you know? It's a gamble. I don't need to be playing this game of incest roulette, no thank you. All well, my friends love this bar, they call it the Cougar Bar. They're always trying to get me to go there. They're like, come on, John, let's go meet some cougars, let's go meet some MILFs. I was like, look, guys, there's only one MILF for me, okay? And that's the mom I'd like to find. It's my kind of MILF. But they drag me over there. We get there, immediately a woman strikes up a conversation with me by saying, oh my God, you look just like a friend I had years ago. I was like, can I buy you a drink? And then I had sex with that lady. <laughs> and I guess technically, if she's my mom, it's not a one night stand, uh, because I've been inside her before, right? That's... I don't think she's my mom, right? What are, the, what are the odds, right? What are the odds? When I woke up the next morning, she was gone. What are the odds the same lady abandoned me twice, right? That seems unlikely. Hell yeah, you guys are fun. I am really adopted. Give it up for that. Yeah. Give it up for me being given up. We're having fun. Uh, recently, my mom, this is my rebound mom now. Uh, <laughs> She was telling the story of when she got me. She's like, when I got you, the first thing I did was undress you to make sure everything was there. And she said, and you know what? For a baby, you had a pretty good dick. <laughs> Let me tell you guys what, 30 years later, still have a pretty good dick for a baby. It's pretty good. Oh yeah. I'm in therapy, give it up for therapy. Oh yeah, therapy. I guess we should all be in therapy. No, I love therapy. I actually just hit my one year anniversary with my therapist, one year anniversary. Uh, he did not remember. Uh, so that's probably what next session's gonna be about. I'm gonna talk about that. I started seeing my therapist uh, with, with my ex-girlfriend. We went to couples therapy together and uh, we would obviously broke up and I got the therapist of the breakup. She got the kid, worked out perfectly. So that was, Pretty good. No, she, you know, we broke up. I kept the therapist, but I still talk about her a lot in therapy. So I feel like she should still be paying her share, right? <laughs> and then I thought about it. I was like, wait, that's how therapy should work in general. Nobody should be paying their own therapy, right? We should treat, we should be insured for therapy the same way we're insured with our cars. Like whoever does the damage is paying for it, right? <laughs> you guys like that? <laughs> Hell yeah. A, a universal income <laughs> healthcare crowd. I like that. You guys are fun. So yeah, I dated. I had to, to date in the pandemic. It's a weird time to date. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, during the pandemic, 600,000 people became single. So it was a pretty good time. <laughs> a lot of people in the market. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm, I was on the dating apps. This woman on Tinder. Her Tinder bio said, don't bother if you're one of those sheeple who wears a mask. I was like, damn, this lady is definitely gonna have unprotected sex with me. That's awesome. I don't know if she's pleased to spread COVID, but she's spreading something. Uh, oh boy. But yeah, I got good at picking up on red flags when I was dating. I went on a date with this woman and she said that she thinks that watching porn is the same as cheating. She thinks those are the same. I was like, man, if she feels this strongly about porn, she is gonna hate when I fuck other people. She's not gonna like that <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. I went, on a, I went on a handful of dates with this woman and uh, I wasn't really feeling a connection. So she texted me, she's like, hey, when are we hanging out again? I told her that I uh, was not interested. And uh, she was pretty angry. She sent me a series of very aggressive text messages. Uh, the first one she said, you idiot, I would have fucked you on the next date. And uh, that's fine. You know? It's like, hey, I think I'm gonna be okay not having sex with this person I didn't like. You know, I think I'm gonna make it. The next text she sent me, she said, have fun masturbating. I was like, yeah, that's gonna be great. What are you talking about? 
I would rather masturbate than go on a date anytime. <laughs> anytime. I don't have to spend any money. I don't have to leave the house. I get to pick the movie every time. It's so much better. <laughs> and then the last text she sent me, she said, have fun writing a joke about me. And I did, I love this joke. It's so fun to tell. It's so fun. Oh, yeah. So uh, I guess before I get out of here, I'll tell you guys about this. I, uh, you guys excited to go back to weddings? You guys excited to go back to weddings at all? No. Yeah, I liked, I liked Zoom weddings. Zoom weddings were awesome. Didn't have to spend some money, and every Zoom wedding was an open bar. It was fantastic. <laughs> but uh, we're going back to weddings in the fall, and uh, I like weddings, but I think I get a little resentful during these speeches, because I never get to give a speech. It's like, hey, I'm your funny friend that does comedy. How about I do a speech? I have to sit through a fucking open mic at every wedding, <laughs> where every groomsman makes the same joke about how the groom shit his pants when they were in college. It's like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Get me, get me a bridesmaid saying the bride shit her pants. That's what I want to hear. I'm tired of the same stuff. But yeah. So I never got to give a speech. I was a little resentful. And then my best friend got engaged. So I was like, hell yeah, this is the one. This is the one I get to give a speech at. And then they just got married in Vegas and no one got to go. But uh, I had already started uh, working on my speech. So I was just wondering if I could do it for you guys. Can I just do my wedding speech for you guys? OK, cool. Uh, first, I have to find a couple to toast. You guys look like you're in a relationship, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, you might be my couple for this. Beautiful. Yeah. Your names? Carmine. Carmine. Darcy. Darcy. Thanks, Carmine and Darcy. I'm going to toast you guys for your wedding. So guys, let's hear for this beautiful couple, yeah. Carmine and Darcy. Yeah. Let's hear for these two and their beautiful wedding day. Let's toast to them. You should be with me, Darcy. You should be with me. It should be me and you up there. Oh, I'm John Deere, guys. Thanks a lot.